Hi guys, today I'll be taking a look at a very nice clicky switch, the Kalebox Jade. Let's get started. Now, the Kalebox Jade was released alongside the Kalebox Navy with the idea of offering a heavier and a more tactile clicky switch. So, what makes the Box Jades heavier? Well, it features the same thicker click bar of the Box Navy, but the same spring present on the Box White. This results in a significantly heavier Box White, but a slightly lighter Box Navy. And yes, it has the same sharp tactile event of the Box Navy switch. Now, pricing-wise, these are $12.24 for 36 switches on Novel Keys' website, so they're very affordable. And this is what they look like when disassembled. Feel free to pause the video. Now, let's move on to the switch categories. On-center key presses are ultra-smooth with zero scratchiness or inconsistencies. It's completely identical to its heavier counterpart, the Kalebox Navy. Off-center key presses are more or less the same as the Box Navy, they do show minor inconsistencies at very slow key presses but no scratchiness whatsoever. Overall, it matches the Box Navy, it's one of the smoothest clicky switches I've ever used. 8 out of 10. Now, according to Novel Keys, these switches have an actuation force of 50 grams at 1.8 millimeters, a peak tactile force of 70 grams, and a bottom out force of 65 grams at 3.6 millimeters. Here's a force curve comparison between the Jades and the Navies, and as you can see, the Jades still feature the same sharp tactile event the Navies have, but in a lighter package. Alternatively, here's a comparison between the Box White and the Jades. And as you can see, it's the thicker click bar making all the difference here, not the spring. Now, during testing, it didn't take very long for me to find out just how much I really love these switches. I prefer these over the box navies given they're lighter and easier on my fingers. It's one of the better weighted switches out there in my opinion. Perfect even. Additionally, just like the navies, these were also very consistent across the board. I had no issues with scratchiness, binding, or switches not returning, which was common in early production models. Overall, the weighting is absolutely perfect, the consistency is on point, and everything else is pretty much spot on. 10 out of 10. Now, sound is... well, it's a box switch, so it's quite loud and high-pitched. Even more so than the box white, even though both switches are quite similar in construction. Overall, it's a pleasant sounding switch that I really like. 7 out of 10. Now, take a listen and enjoy. Now, before I really get into typing, I want to address a previously known issue with these switches, and that's the keys sometimes not returning. Now, given the relatively light spring and the thicker click bar, I suppose it would make sense that the spring sometimes may be too weak to push the stem back up again. However, I didn't experience this issue. Now, as far as typing is concerned, it's excellent. The weighting, the consistency, and the smoothness all line up to make a truly great typing experience. I love it. This is how clicky switches should perform in my opinion. Although I will say that I was a little afraid switching from the box navy to these thinking they wouldn't be as sharply tactile. But clearly I didn't need to be. These are just as sharply tactile. They're magnificent. Overall these are definitely top tier clicky switches. It's up there with the best in the world. 10 out of 10. Now, a common theme in clicky switches is that even if they're great for typing, they're never quite there when it comes to gaming. 
This sentiment applies for the box jade as well. You see, for many fast-paced games, these switches perform absolutely beautifully. Their clicky nature didn't bother me during gameplay, and I'd even go as far as to say that these are the perfect clicky switch for gaming. However, if we move on to slower-paced games, and especially stealth games, that's where these switches fall apart. I mean, yes, they're great switches, but they also ruin the experience sometimes. It's never great when the clicking in the background is louder than the game's soundtrack. Overall, despite the downsides of clicky switches for gaming, they are still a great choice if you simply must have a clicky switch for gaming, for whatever reason. 8 out of 10. In conclusion, if you need a more tactile box white but don't want something too heavy, these are the switches for you, and they're excellent. The final score for this switch is 43 out of 50 or 86% making this the new best switch, beating four previous record holders. And that's the end of the review, and next time I'll be looking at... something else, I guess. Until then, take care and goodbye.